Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Fauquier County Public Schools with another edition of Checking In. Uh, this week's Checking In question actually was sent a few weeks back from a student at uh, one of the high schools on the newspaper staff at one of the high schools. And they were asking specifically about our hashtag. They wanted to know what the background was for our hashtag, FCPS1 Kids Deserve It. Uh, and if you're not familiar with Twitter, you don't have a Twitter account, you should get a Twitter account. But if you don't, uh, a hashtag is, is something that people may include in a tweet that is you know, shared by a large group who, of like-minded people who sort of are thinking the same way and believe the same kinds of things. And in this case, it's about you know, education in Faulkner County. Um, Megan Howland, a teacher at uh, Bradley Elementary School, is the person we're, we're crediting with coming up with this and, and first using it in Twitter. And it's really straightforward. And it's not about budget. I'm hearing that. Oh, you know, it's all about kids deserve, you know, fully, fully funded, fully funding the school board budget. Well, that would be nice, but that's not where the hashtag came from. That's not the, the genesis of it. The genesis of FCPS1 Kids Deserve It is they deserve everything we've got. You know, they they these kids deserve to be taught and led by by heroes, and they deserve an enriching and challenging curriculum, no matter where they where they are. They they deserve that. They deserve that from us. Um, they, they deserve to be able to collaborate in the classroom and they deserve to be heard uh, and they deserve to not be underestimated uh, which is, is something that um, uh, I'm profoundly interested in and aware of as a superintendent is you, know, you, you can never underestimate kids because my experience in 29 years in education has been you know, well there's been a lot of experiences but one thing I found to be absolutely true with students if, if you are raising the bar of expectations, students will almost always reach it and, and, and exceed it. And when we shortchange kids or we don't have the faith in kids that we ought to, um, we're really doing them a disservice. And, and I'll, I'll repeat that. It, it has been my experience that you know, the, the higher you raise the bar for kids, uh, the more likely they are uh, to attain that goal, to at attain those goals. And I think we have really good examples right now. Algebra 1 is a, is a great example of that uh, in terms of the number of kids who are completing Algebra 1 in middle school who five years ago they, they wouldn't have had to, they would not have had the opportunity, period. So um, that, that's just one of many examples, by the way. But um, bottom line is kids deserve all that we've got. They deserve our 100% effort and attention and, and uh, respect, and, uh, and they deserve not to be underestimated ever. So that's, that's the genesis of FCPS1 Kids Deserve It, and I hope you'll go on Twitter and start an account if you don't have one, and I hope you'll use this hashtag. Thanks very much. Have a great day.